हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वी आर हैविंग प्रॉब्लम बी सो प्रॉब्लम बी नेम इज नैस्थिया एंड डोर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली सेज आफ्टर दैट वी विल मूव ऑन टू द अप्रोच एंड देन द सॉल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैविंग द फर्स्ट केस First of all, we will be having t. Okay, it is fine. Then we will be having n and k. N is the number of elements in the array, and k it is the window. I will explain what is the window and what we need to find out. So then after that we will be having n elements. Okay. Okay. So suppose these are the eight elements which I wanted. So what I actually want to output is that I want to actually output the maximum number of peaks in a window. and now you will ask what is window the window is of size k i will explain you now i need to find out the maximum number of peaks maximum number of peaks i will explain what is peaks in this window and i need to find out one thing more which is the lowest index of this window size okay window size so as you can see here completely like the uh yeah in the problem statement so first of all let's have this first example see the window see what is the peak peak is any element the uh, if we say an element has a peak if it is uh, if it, the element is ai and the element before it is ai minus 1 and the element after it is ai plus 1 if ai is greater than ai minus 1 and ai is also greater than ai plus 1 then the element ai is called a peak understanding so first of all we will having a case of suppose let's take the first case so yeah so as you can clearly see that we will have a window size of 6 okay 1 2 suppose let's mark the index 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 okay now Uh, I will be having the window size of six from here to here. So the first peak element here is this, and the next peak element here is. It is not a peak element. It is not a peak element. It is not a peak element. So, the number of peak elements in this window is one, and the index new index found up till now for the maximum peak number of peaks. is also uh, i should put a weight here and let's speak put mouse so uh, yeah the minimum index is also 1 because the maximum number of peaks found up till now is from the index 1 okay now let's have another window okay let's shift my window then i will see what is the maximum number of peaks now so the maximum number of peaks is 1 okay 2 okay so the maximum number of peaks now is 2 and as the number of peaks increases so i also need to increase my uh this index minimum index value because actually it is completely stated that we need to opt for maximum number of peaks and if we have windows which are of same length then we need to opt for a window which has minimum length so we need to have the sorry which has the minimum index lower index so we need to have the minimum lower index so let's uh, update the value which is 2 it is the uh, peaks number of peaks maximum number of peaks it is the index okay then i have my another window so in this window see this, i can't have this element okay i can I, i can have the element this so actually for the window present here i have my number of peaks as 1 and as uh, like you know the index uh, see the the number of peaks maximum number of peaks is 2 so i will choose 2 so the index will not update okay basically so final answer is number of peaks plus 1 which is 2 plus 1 and the index which is 2 understanding so uh, how will you approach it see it is very basic uh, as it is the window sliding problem so in this you will offer a window k you will have a answer like you know Uh, that uh, in this window uh, the element uh, it is a peak yeah you know it next when you choose for the next window you will see the element 
the just last element of the last window and the first element of the window which he opt now because if it earlier was a peak now it will not be a peak and if it earlier was not a peak now it will be a peak so if it was sorry if it was no, because see it was earlier at the edge but now it is completely inside so it now it can have be a peak but uh, it was completely inside so if earlier it was a peak then you need to remove it because now it is at the edge so uh, i hope that you guys uh, uh, have the intuition like what to do and how to do so the final thing which i need to say is that we will have the uh, answer for our window of size k then after that i will iterate to my next this and for suppose if i am on this then i will see i minus 1 okay and i will see i minus k plus 1 which is this and for these i will only have two values okay so uh, it will be basically o of 2 into uh, or you can say some constant value will be added okay not this so uh, it will be have it will be completed in o of n basically so uh, it is a basic intuition of window sliding problem uh, now let's see the code and by the code you will get it much better so first of all i had my t number of cases then i had my answer n and k and then i had my array for input okay then i had my minimum index as 1 because initially the number of peaks i let the maximum number of peaks as 0 but if the answer is still 0 then still max minimum index is 1 because actually uh it is starting from 1 basically so then i iterate from i equal to 2 to i equal to k. i is less than k because actually as i uh, completely stated before also that i don't need to have the edge element for a window of size k the edge elements are at index 1 at and at index k so i don't need to have it so i iterate it from 2 to k and i had that if ai is bigger than ai minus 1 and uh, ai is bigger than ai plus 1 then i increase my max peak because see i am increasing my max peak because it is the first window i am using so it is completely uh, fine that i use max peak to increase the window because up till now i had no peaks available so i will have my max peak uh, i will have my peaks here up till now for the side window size k then for the remaining length of the array which is from a plus 1 to n i will see the, which i explained you in the problem that i will have uh, a check for i minus a plus 1 and uh, for the element i minus 1 with their previous and the next element and same for here uh, if it is possible then i will decrease if if it is possible then i will increase if we can update the p then i will update the p and i will update the minimum index as well but if it is not possible then i will not update my minimum index then at last uh, for every iteration like uh, you need to have the last peak because uh, last number of peaks because actually you are sliding the window so you need to have what was the last uh, value which you had earlier so i will have my value this earlier and by this help i will have my max peak and max peak plus 1 because as i said that we we, we need to print ans uh, max peak plus 1 it is stated uh, i should show you it is stated here see you need to answer max peak plus 1 i had the wrong answer because uh, earlier i thought of this but uh, yeah uh, so yeah and then i will print my minimum index so i thought that you guys understood the solution and uh, yeah if you liked it then please like the video and for more such videos and upcoming cf rounds please subscribe and yeah see you in the next for problem c so bye Tell me that you love me, even if it's.